everybody, Last Outrider, and I'm still here bringing you Legion of the Damned Fluff. Are you still there loving it? Yes, you are. So let's get right into this. We're going to talk about the year is 996 of the 41st millennium. The Kohler Cost. The Kohler Cost Blood Crusade is discovered to be en route to ancient Terra. Following the erratic path of the Keeler Comet, the fifth company of Extricator Space Marines chapter intercepted the Kohler Cost at the cemetery world of Certus Minor, and the Legion of the Damned are sighted coming to aid of the Excorators. Oh, that is the name of them. Okay. The Excorators Space Marine Chapter. The Legion of the Dam are sighted coming to the aid of the Excorators in an effort to save the local population. The Kohler Cost is not only halted, but destroyed. The Legion of the Damned disappears from the battlefield as mysteriously as they appeared. Of the Excorators... All bar of their renowned winner of the Feast of Blades, Captain Corpus Zachariah Kirch, are lost in battle. The whole affair remains under the investigation of Ordo Absolutus. What the hell did they just say there? Okay. I'm just reading what it says, and it says confusing to me. Okay. Of the excoricators, all bar their renowned winner of the Feast of Blades. That's literally what it says word for word. It's not me being goofy. All bar their renowned winner of the Feast of Blades, Captain Corpus Zachariach Kirsch are lost in battle. The whole affair remains under the investigation of Ordo Obsolitus. Well, it should be under Ordo Obsolitus because this whole fucking sentence should be under investigation of Ordo Obsolitus, in my opinion. But let's move on to the final battle. The year 999 of the 41st millennium. That's present day. Battle for the Phalanx. The Phalanx, the brutish super vessel the Imperial Fists use in lieu of a fortress monastery, is in orbit around Terra when the, more, when the war smiths Shan Tu and his demonic allies emerge from a warp rift in the ship's heart. Battle erupts as the newly forged third company fight to repel borders. Bolter fire booming through the corridors, but ultimately failing to halt the onslaught of the demon prince, Belacor. Sean too heads for the gun decks, intending to use the mighty vessel's continent-wrecking firepower to assail the Emperor's palace upon Terra's surface. Without men enough to stop him, the Imperial Fists make an emergency translation into the warp, and battle is joined once more as the phalanx plunges through the screaming tides of the Imperium. Just as it looks like the infested vessel may be lost, the lower decks are suddenly awash with spectral fire that burns back the demons capering in its corridors. When the fire fades, an unprecedented number of the Legion of the Damned stamp through the Star Fortress's iron corridors pitilessly exterminating those demons that survived their initial attack. The Imperial Fists, prepared to fight to the last man if necessary, take the heart and launch a spirited counterattack 
on Shotu's forces. The battle rages still to this day. As I said, the timeline takes us to right now in 40K. At this moment in 40K, wherever it's happening, the battle for the phalanx is currently going on with the Legion of the Damned in the largest numbers they've ever been seen on board. Deal with that, Ms. Natchez. Okay, now let's get to the quote. In Deticato Imperiatum Ultra Articulo Mortis. What does that mean, you ask? I'll tell you. Inscription on Legionnaire Banner. Loosely translatable as for the emperor beyond the point of death there you go that was the final part of the chapter of the timelines for the legion of the damn sightings i hope you enjoyed it i know you did see you next time bye